right, guys, so we actually missed something pretty big inside of the new refinery chapter, and it's something that I haven't really seen a lot of people talking about. No, unfortunately, I forget the exact name of the person that actually told me this, but it's actually regarding William Wolf, actually the, the kid, you know, Willow Wolf's brother. He is actually hidden inside of the new chapter, and well, like I said, not a lot of people have really caught on to this. So as you all know, Minitoon and Ikea have said that one of the new chapters, maybe chapter three, maybe chapter four, who knows, has a huge Easter egg in it that gives a huge hint to, I, I guess, a big part of the new story. And obviously, they're not going to just straight out, you know, tell us what it is. We're going to have to find it. Otherwise, it would just defeat the whole purpose. And this very well may be it. So if you guys have played through chapter three, which I imagine most of you guys have by now, at the very end, of course, there is a guard standing in front of uh, Zizzy's door. Now, unfortunately, you can't get past the guard. The only way you're going to be able to get past the guard is by Pony using a toy car to actually distract the guard into a room, the door locks, and then, you know, the, the guard's gone. Now, what's interesting here is that Pony doesn't have a toy car. Where in the world did he get a toy car from? He didn't have it in the last chapter, all right? He didn't have it in the beginning cutscene of this chapter. He didn't pick it up on the way to the, I, I guess, vent. But then when he came out of the vent, he has the toy car, which means the toy car was probably inside of the vent. Now, here's the weird thing. This is an oil refinery. Why in the world would there be a kid toy car inside of the vent? That just doesn't really make a lot of sense. An oil refinery is definitely not a place for a kid to be, so it's very unlikely that it would stuck there before the apocalypse started. So that means a kid probably wandered around there and put it in the vent after the apocalypse started. Now, here's the thing. If TSP took over the oil refinery after the apocalypse started, then it's likely that it's someone in TSP that, well, I guess had a kid or has some sort of kid with them and they put them in the vent or the kid crawled in the vent and they were playing around in the vent with the with the toy. Now, while we don't know a lot about a lot of the different TSP characters, we do know some things about a few of them. Like, for example, Tigri, he, there's no mention of any kids or, or brothers or, or babies or kids or anything like that with him. And of course, there's been no mention of that with any of the other characters either. But I got to thinking, if you guys remember at the end of book two, chapter one, the flashback where you and Donkey arrested Willow Wolf and Rash Raccoon, there's actually a secret note in the room right before you arrest Willow. And that secret note says this, Dear Willow, please take care of William while I'm gone. I'll be back soon, Daisy. I'm sure you guys remember this note. Now, at first, a lot of people were thinking maybe this is, you know, Daisy's son, or maybe this is Daisy's brother, or Willow's son, or Willow's brother, or something like that. And well, we can narrow it down quite a bit. I know in the actual Peppa Pig show, obviously, Willow is based on Wendy, and I don't believe Wendy has any, you know, kids or brothers or anything like that. But keep in mind, Minitoon has said that a lot of the decisions in the story going forward aren't going to be based on Peppa Pig, so we don't really have to look at Peppa Pig anymore. But what we can look at is the naming scheme. All the names of the characters inside of Piggy have a very specific naming scheme. Willow, Woof, Rash, Raccoon, Daisy, the Donkey. You know, the first name and the last name, the, the letters line up to what animal they are. Daisy begins with a D, she's a donkey, etc. You get the idea. Which means William is probably a Woof. Now, the only Woof character in the story that we know so far is, uh, you know, Willow, which means that William is probably either Willow's son or Willow's brother. Now, considering that Willow is probably around the same age as Doggy, and Donkey's around the age of 18 to probably around 22, because obviously this takes place inside the UK. In the UK, to be a police officer, you have to be at least 18, which means Dog is at least 18, and he seems to be a little bit experienced, so he's probably been a police officer for at least a few years, which means Willow's probably around the age of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, somewhere in there. Now, it's very unlikely, I mean, it's possible, but it's very unlikely that Willow has had a son in that period, and I don't think many tunes gonna go that route, because then it's gonna be, okay, so like, who was his dad? The, you know, who, who's your daddy? That kind of thing, probably not, probably not gonna go that way, which means William is probably Willow's brother. Now, of course, Willow Wolf was missing from this entire chapter. She wasn't there. Despite Willow being the one to kidnap Zizzy, Willow is gone. So where in the world was Willow and what's going on with this toy car? Well, I actually have a pretty big theory for this, okay? I think the toy car is actually William's toy car. William is Willow Wolf's baby brother, all right? Well, not necessarily a baby, probably around the same age as George, maybe a little bit younger, maybe like five, six, seven, maybe, maybe eight at the most, somewhere in there. And well, I think that William was the one playing around in the vents when Pony went through the vent, he saw the toy, saw it would be a great distraction use, a great distraction tool to distract the guards with, and he grabbed it. Now, since he needed a battery to use it, that means that the battery that was already in it was probably, you know, gone. It was probably already used, which means William had just been there. And since Willow Wolf isn't there anymore, and we know that there's numerous settlements because this note here mentions that 
while some of the guards got relocated to a different base. What I imagine happened is Willow Wolf took Zizzy to this base and then Willow Wolf took William to another base. So Willow and William probably skedaddled on out of there. They're probably heading on over to another base while the, you know, the TSP guards that we see in the chapter are guarding the place and, and keeping it on lockdown. This theory number one explains who William is. It explains where William is. And it also explains, uh, I guess, one of Willow Wolf's main motivations and that while well, she's very attached to her brother. Now, look, I'm just saying a lot of you guys aren't really that happy at Willow Wolf right now. Okay. It's pretty much her fault that Zizzy got infected. I mean, if Zizzy would have never gotten kidnapped, by Willow, then Zizzy would have never gotten infected. I know Willow didn't directly, you know, like throw the, the piggy on Zizzy that got her infected, but look, man, it's basically her fault. So look, all I'm saying, like, look, what if Pony, uh, what, what, hey, hey, what, what if something happened to William? That's all I'm saying, you know, cause like <laughs> we ain't, we ain't too happy with her right now. So like, what if we hunt them down, take them out, dude? Maybe I'm being a little bit too violent. Maybe, maybe. look, all I'm saying is, uh, Pony's probably not too happy and he's probably about to be upgrading his wooden sword to maybe, you know, maybe, maybe something like this. This is kind of what Pony needs right now. Anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think about this theory. I think it's a pretty good theory. I think it makes sense with everything. And I think it lines up with everything. Not sure what's going to be going on in the next chapter. We have no hints so far. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, hit the red, uh, you know, subscribe button, bell icon underneath the video, get it going on. Mini tune actually texted me and he said, if, if they don't subscribe to you right now, then, then chapter four is not coming out. So you, you got to subscribe that may or may not be true but you know just just trust me anyway keep using star code real quick when you're buying your roblox buying your roblox premium of course it helps me out allows me to buy all the roblox codes that i give out to you guys on stream we're gonna probably be giving out more on stream later today so be sure to stop by for that thank you guys so much for watching though again stay safe let me know your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>